Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I will not disappoint you when today I will clarify the complicated relationship between Megan, the Hamptons, and money. What do you think about mentioning these three factors? I believe everyone has their own answer. Please quickly comment below so we can check who has the answer to hide each other's fate. That's just a little activity before starting the main content. If you're in the Hamptons, keep an eye out. Absolutely. There is a woman looking for money. Certainly. A woman you might have heard of. On 100%. The former royal is known as the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan Markle. She's been to a convention. What is the real story behind that? Please stay calm and let me clarify. You know, as I've already stated, it's difficult to get any business started. It does not matter who or what you are. I was always surprised that the highly famous impresario, musical man, and so on, Andrew Lloyd Webber, was always putting on musicals. You know, when you're very young and you think, all right, you know, and then they're searching for angel investors, and I wondered why they never used their own money. Maybe the idiocy of youth. Have you noticed this? You never realize that, of course, they'd never spend their own money. They want your money, and that is the problem. Don't you see? Meghan Markle is currently in the Hamptons, a wealthy New York retreat. It's where the rich and famous go for their summer vacation. And if you have money and can afford to visit the Hamptons, you really have money, of course. You'll have seen that Meghan opted to rock up their Sansa bag carrier, who happens to be the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. According to her team at William Morris Endeavor, she wanted to convey a message about how she is the cheese. This is her business and she's making sure she's moving forward. As previously said, Harry is a bit of a disaster who can say the wrong thing at the wrong time. However, during those major business gatherings, which are really simply groups of investors getting together in the hopes that they will give you money, a lot of people wanted to meet Harry because, obviously, the relationship is still quite valuable. Meghan insisted on being alone. Let me tell you, there were some major cheesers present, including Reese Witherspoon and, of course, Gwyneth Paltrow, who seemed to stay at a distance, could be rivals. American Riviera isn't far from Goop. Now, everyone says, oh, Megan's been invited, presumably because she's now a mover and shaker in the world. Of course. No. She was invited because of her acquaintance with Katie Couric, a former newsreader whom she met, the woman who collected eight million and then literally sank CBS's evening broadcast. When she visited the London office while I was working for CBS, we were instructed not to look in her direction, not to speak, and to merely breathe in her presence. That was the ego. So now you understand how Katie and Megan plainly get along. It was at that type of event earlier this year that she persuaded Megan to repeat the monotonous anecdote about the washing detergent and all that. That was how the friendship became more firmly established. But the bottom line is that Megan went there to try to attract investors for American Riviera. Big investors were present, including those who had invested in Goop, Bumble, a dating app, and other ventures. What their team is effectively claiming is that people were thrilled, excited, and couldn't believe they were in the presence of Meghan Markle, who is seventh on the cast of Suits. And what she was hoping, for now, was that in the next days, people would be knocking on the door of American Riviera, asking money to invest in this little-known firm that has so far sent out a few pots of jam to mind-blowing celebrities, dog biscuits, and purported rosé wine. So yet, it has not come off. Megan is getting a strong push from CBS in the form of another interview, and she thinks that by pushing, investors and possibly a CEO would come forward. Of course, everything in Hollywood costs money, and if things take off, Katie Couric, believe me, will be looking for some form of, shall we say, recompense, to put it mildly. Now, the grifter is now middle-aged. Nothing shameful in that, just the facts. Her bloom of youth is in her past. She used to refer to herself as a young mom. So Harry certainly is juvenile. No strength of character and is spoilt to death, it seems. Moreover, certainly, Megan doesn't understand the wealthy, society, or even celebrity, she had zero understanding of royalty. Little Miss Narcissist definitely has no concept of boundaries, and the rich and famous must view her with the same distaste that us plebs do. She has zero understanding of everything. She crashes through every situation thinking she is better than anyone else. It's quite amazing to watch. Can you see it? The way she goes on about privacy. Yet she constantly invades other people's personal space, always clawing and grabbing people. 
She is desperate and entitled in everything she does. Besides, I can't stand Katie Couric. She just doesn't seem sincere, although she tries to look that way. I just never liked her approach to interviewing. When I see her on the net, working from her home, I switch channels immediately. I treat Megzi the same way. She has absolutely no talent whatsoever. In fact, I found that Harry probably has one thing better than Meghan. Even though we don't like him, we have to judge him fairly. Harry at least has a semblance of manners. Repeat, I'm not a Harry fan in the least. But as far as public appearances go, Harry does far better than Meghan. He actually shows interest and respect to others. Harry could teach his feral wife a thing or two about basic decency and etiquette. It's almost laughable to think Meghan believes Harry would somehow be a liability at these high-profile events. The reality is that Harry's upbringing in the royal family has instilled in him a certain level of decorum and respect that Meghan severely lacks. While Harry might have his faults, he at least understands the importance of showing genuine interest in the people he meets. He knows how to listen, engage, and make others feel valued, traits that Meghan seems utterly incapable of mastering. In contrast, Meghan's interactions often come across as forced and insincere. Her need to constantly be the center of attention, to dominate every conversation and event, leaves little room for genuine connection. It's no wonder that high-profile individuals and potential investors keep their distance. They see through the facade and recognize the self-serving motives behind her every move. If Meghan truly wanted to make a positive impact and win over influential allies, she could learn a great deal from Harry's approach. As a, I wonder who in their right mind would give her money. She's nothing without her marriage license. If her team is spewing about how thrilled everyone is, you can't bet everyone isn't. I'm sure they know a grifter when they see one, and that female is more obvious than most. Remember never to blame this or that. It's all who she really is. No one could keep up this illusion for years. It's her true nasty and evil self. To be honest, in this life, it's fun at a cocktail party. Yes, but that's it. We respect people for who they are, not their titles. The idea that we grant any gravitas to these two is absurd. Nobody here is even thinking of them for any office. They are clowns. As we respect monarchy and government, please respect our democracy, even if we are stupid. Somewhere in our brains, we still know a fraud when we see them. In addition, at a Hamptons VIP event for established female entrepreneurs, since she doesn't want to invest Harry's money or perhaps there's little left, she was glomming onto female billionaires. I'm surprised she was allowed into the event. Everyone knows she's a grifter. But first, Megan needs to discover clothing that doesn't wrinkle. A tailor. And a good stylist. Not that anyone would take her on. But if you are only 5'3", then don't wear clothing for women who are 5'10". The six inches of him dragging on the ground look hideous. And that is after she put on five or six inch heels. I think there's a high possibility that it is Megan went to this event because she had paid to go there. There was a beautiful event just in another town where Gwyneth Paltrow had a party for Goop. So Megan came up with the idea to attend or crash the event because Nacho's wife was hanging out with A-listers but couldn't get Megan in. Honestly, if these hangers-ons who wish to mingle with royalty are serious, they may wish to find some real royalty to hang on to rather than a C-list cable TV. American actress with no real fame to her name other than a soap commercial she did win. Eleven and marrying into the British royal family, but unable to cope with the pace of royal life. A woman whose claim to fame these days is winging about how hard her lavish life is. That's right. Megan should not hold her breath. Anyone with any smarts would look at what she has done, her work ethic, outside of grifting, overall behavior, and realize it is a toxic, noxious situation it is and run in the other direction. Especially... Megan is worth millions, so she should invest in her own venture of ARO. If she doesn't, then it goes to show the rest of us that she doesn't believe in ARO or its products. A prime example of this is the Snark Tank TV series. Shark investors always want to know how much money the entrepreneur put into their company product line. That is how it works. It is not wrong to say that nabbing a dim prince does not make one immediately smart, stylish, popular, or likable. She will never understand that marriage does not morph into entrepreneurial success without the basic hard work to get the project off the ground. She cannot expect anyone to invest in something that hasn't even sold a single item or proved to provide a return on investment. 
Her ideas are simply big, empty money pits with her title on them. Titles mean nothing when there is absolutely no substance behind them. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching our video, and I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos!